Good morning, my friends. How are we doing today? I hope you guys are staying safe and very, yeah, I hope you're staying very safe and staying very clean as ever. I know we were supposed to get through this, but I have a feeling we will get through this. I mean, I don't know if you noticed this, but April's nearly going to be done soon, and we're going to find ourselves heading straight into May. May will be the month where I say we're all will be back to normal. I mean, by the time we get to May, things will pretty much be quite back to normal as we always imagine. So hang in there. Like I said, I hope you guys are staying home and staying very safe as ever. And all very yeah, staying very safe as ever. Keep yourselves clean. Stay away from anyone that has of what's still going on right now. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly and definitely as ever. Even put hand sanitizer on after you're through washing your hands. So just remember that. Wash your hands. Wash it thoroughly and definitely. Yeah, wash your hands thoroughly and definitely. And also to put hand sanitizer on that way, you'll find yourself clean and protected as ever. Just remember that. All right. So for today, I'm making another video of Denzel's artistic pictures. This would be the last one I made was number six. So say hello to number seven. And I've drawn a lot of wonderful pictures yesterday. As I was home. Yeah, I pretty much did. These were based on wrestling characters I remember from back in the old days of wrestling. As it was, as any wrestling landscape you ever saw right in front of you at a live event or even on television was still building at that time when we had the original wrestling stars that I remember very much that you also may remember, that you also may remember too. And I say this right now because yesterday I was drawing old cells that used to be the they used to be in Ring of Honor Wrestling. Yep, the Ring of Honor Wrestling landscape, such as like Nigel McGuinness, who was the longest reigning Ring of Honor World Champion after holding the after holding the belt for I want to say two years. Yeah, he held the belt for two years from 2007 to 2009. And then you've got dudes like Austin Aries, Jimmy Jacobs, Kenta, and my fellow dude, yes, Mr. Insanity himself, Delirious. That's right. I remember the lyrics very much. So for today, also I may have drawn some other wrestling stars you may know of, like into, like wrestling stars you may see like an independent wrestling show, such as even all over the globe, like Will Ospreay. And I even drew a picture of some of WWE. Actually, you may all know this wrestling famous legend. You all may know this famous wrestling legend as ever because um. Last year was the last time we got to see him because he made he made it clear that this year, which happened pretty much this year, that he retired from wrestling. So you may all know this famous wrestling legend. You seen him before back in the you seen him before during the time when WCW was rising, and he also came all the way from Japan. And he's been seeing every WW. I mean, he's been seeing in every wrestling landscape. <coughs> Sorry about that. He's been seen before in every wrestling landscape. Like Ring of Honor, TNA, and WWE as ever. I remember the first time he came to WWE when Regal brought him in for NXT's TakeOver Brooklyn event to face Tyler Breeze. So, that's right. I also drew a picture of famous wrestling, a famous Japanese, a famous Japanese wrestling legend, Jushin Thunder Liger. And also, I believe I drew a picture of Bret the Hitman Hart. So, prepare to be amazed. And I and I think I may have drawn a picture of famous British act, famous British actress who you may see on a show on Amazon called Fleabag, which happens to be famous British actress Olivia Colman. So get ready to show you the pictures that I have drawn yesterday to keep myself busy, as we're all still at home and staying very safe as ever. All right, so here's a picture. Here's the first. All right, here's the first picture I'm going to show you that I drew last time. So get ready as I show you the picture of former ROH star Nigel McGuinness. Yep, this is Nigel. Back then, when he held the Ring of Honor World Title, and you all may remember his motto when he was part of Ring of Honor Wrestling back then: "I am in it to win it." Any match he got himself into, he was willing to ready get in there and try to win it as ever. Yep, this was Nigel. Came all the way from London, UK. Yep, 
And I remember the night where he scored his he scored his second title. His first title was the ROH Pure title. And then he when it came to the Ring of Honor World title, he was able to score from defeating um Takeshi Morishima, who held on to the title throughout the year of two thousand seven before Nigel dethroned him for the belt. So there you have it. Yep. Hold on a sec. Yep, so this is him. Nigel McGuinness. Now you see Nigel McGuinness in NXT as a as a commentator, which is very fun, as ever. I remember the first time I heard his name coming to the WWE. I remember I remember hearing his name of coming to the WWE when they when um WWE was doing the UK tile tournament. Yeah, the UK tile tournament. Yep, and he was one of the com the British commentators that came to the WWE to announce the matches that was going on during the tournament. And now you see him in NXT joining Beth Phoenix and Mauro Ronaldo. Yes, the same Mauro Ronaldo that goes like, Mama Mia! Yep, yep, joining them on commentary, seeing the matches that are happening every Wednesday night as ever. So yep, this is nice of guess, my friends. All right. I'm going to show you the next picture. Another ROH fellow that I remember very much. And everybody remembers him very much as ever because this is the same dude that was always willing to go in the ring and, rate and was ready for a fight as ever. Plus, it's the same dude who scored the Ring of Honor World title not once but twice. Don't ask, he just wanted to get back at the title picture, and it just pretty much happened. So, allow me to show you the second picture I have drawn. Say hello to the picture of former ROH star. Yep, A double himself, Austin Aries. Yep, this is A double, Austin Aries, right here. Alright, let me just show you the next picture of from an ROH star I remember. This dude, uh, let's see. He had a lot of problems with everybody back in his days with Ring of Honor Wrestling. With the likes of BJ Whitmer, Cole Cabana, and then there's Austin Aries. I mean, the list goes on. So, let me show you the picture that Austin Aries has had a very big problem with before. And I remember watching these two go at it in an I Quit match from Ring of Honor's Rising Above 2008 event. Yeah, back in 2008. Yeah. So here's the picture of Austin Aries' former rival, Mr. Edge of the Fall leader himself, Jimmy Jacobs. Yeah, Austin Aries had, had a very big problem with this dude. Who came back to Ring of Honor Wrestling after an injury due to his cage match with BJ Whitmer? That was back in 2007. And at the Man Up event back in September 2007, Jimmy Jacobs brought in a new group that pretty much ruled all over the, yeah, that pretty much ruled over the Ring of Honor landscape. The new stable tag, the new tag team stable was called Age of the Fall. And with him was Lacey Evans. You had the Necro Butcher, who you may remember from the ROH versus CZW rivalry. And you also had Tyler Black, who was very new as he came into Ring of Honor Wrestling. So there you have it. Yep. Yep. Jimmy Jacobs. Yep. Yeah. This is him during his time with Age of the Fall. A former, a multiple time. A former multiple time Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion. He's been Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion with BJ Whitmer. Then there's Tyler Black. Yeah, the rest goes on. All right. I want to show you another former ROH star I remember. I like this dude very much. Sometimes you can never listen to the words he's saying, but this was part of him of during his time in Ring of Honor Wrestling. So, get ready to show you the picture of Mr. Insanity himself, Delirious.
This is Delirious right here. And I remember his finishing moves very much. We had the Panic Attack, the Bizarro Driver. Oh, yeah, so you can see the name, the Doctor of Insanity. And the finisher I always remember watching him that he used all the time was known and called Shadows Over Hell. Yeah, that was Delirious. Alright, I have another wrestling, uh, I have another fellow that used to be in Ring of Honor Wrestling. You all may know him for his kicks and from the time he debuted in Ring of Honor Wrestling. I remember when he first came in 2005, I remember watching a match of him coming, I remember, I'm going to say this right now. I remember watching a match that was from 2005. He first came to Ring of Honor Wrestling in 2005 as he took on Loki with a Japanese title of his own on the line called the GHC Junior Heavyweight Title. And the title was being defended on America, on USA territory. Yep. Yep. This dude defended the title against Loki. And then when he came back to Ring of Honor Wrestling, he took on the likes of Samoa Joe, Brian Danielson. Roderick Strong, Matt Seidel, the list goes on. He even fought Nigel McGuinness for the Ring of Honor World title. And also, he's been known for his kicks very much. So, get ready as I show you the... Plus, this dude used to be seen in the WWE, but you all may know him from his days at Ring of Honor Wrestling. So, allow me to show you the picture of Noah than Mr. Kickmaster himself, Kenta. Yep, this is Kenta right here. Yeah, he finisher that he pretty much that you all may know of called Go to Sleep. And the last and I remember watching him that had that had matches involving him. I remember his match against Davey Richards. I've seen the match of him against Matt Seidel. I've even seen the triple threat belt between him, Joe, and Danielson. Also, I've seen the matches between him against Brian Danielson for the ROH world title. And yeah, pretty much every match you see in Kenta. Oh, I, I remember watching his match against um, Mr. Haru Masawa. Yeah, for the JC Junior Heavyweight Title, a match from Glory by Honor Set, Glory by Honor Seven. Actually, it was Glory Glory by Honor Six back in two thousand seven. So yeah, like that. Yeah, so this is Kenta, the Kickmaster himself. Alright, my friend, it is my turn to show you a picture that I drew of a famous Japanese wrestling legend. You all may know him from his time in WCW, seeing him in Ring of Honor Wrestling, then TNA Wrestling, and then having to finally come to the WWE. So get ready as I show you the picture of Nora Dan, famous wrestling legend, who I will miss watching all the time. Who I will miss very much watching, seeing how he had retired this year. That, my friends, would be no other than Mr. Jushin Thunder Liger. And here's a picture of no other than Mr. Jushin Thunder Liger right here. This is the picture of the famous Japanese wrestling legend. Yep. 2020, he did say he will have to retire because he's been wrestling for a very long time, but his matches will live on forever. Yet the good times will be will be remember, will be very memorable as ever to remember of Jushin Thunder Liger. So I'm going to show you a picture. Oh, let's see. I have a few more pictures left, and then this will be pretty much it. So allow me to continue on. I 
I have drawn the picture of someone, thanks to my best friend, Kevin Cobb. He pretty much inspired me to draw a picture of someone that we all know very much, and we haven't seen very much lately, but I have a feeling he might be returning very soon. So, I'll have to show you a picture of Mr. Taking a Stand himself. That's right. You've seen him before, yep. And then he changed his name back, yeah, to what it really was, so, which was better, so. I'll have to show you a picture of Nerd than Smackdown native himself, Mustafa Ali. This is him right here, Mustafa Ali, at your service. Alright, that was a picture of Mustafa Ali. Allow me to show you the picture of a WWE Hall of Famer you all may know of. So get ready as I show you the picture of Nora then Bruh, the Hitman Hart. That's right, a WWE Hall of Famer and a fellow Canadian native as ever. I love the Hitman. I remember watching his matches from back then, including the matches, including the one that involved Stone Cold Steve Austin. They met. At I remember watching the one from WrestleMania 13 in the submission match. Yeah. All right, and let me show you the picture of famous British actress Olivia Colman, who I drew a picture of. So get ready to show you the picture of her. All right, and I have one last picture to show you of another independent wrestling fellow. You've seen him before, especially he was once seen in TNA Wrestling and also seen in Ring of Honor Wrestling. You may see him in the New Japan Pro Wrestling landscape. So get ready to show the picture of Mr. Ariel Sass himself, Will Ospreay, my favorite. This is him right here, the aerial assassin himself, Will Ospreay, who I am like, who I look forward to seeing in WWE someday, especially in NXT or even in NXT UK, when the time comes. Okay, so. There you have it for today of Denzel's Artistic Pictures, Part 7. I hope I kept you guys busy and occupied and show you what I've been doing lately to keep myself busy and occupied. And I hope you guys are doing the same to keep yourselves busy and occupied as ever. As ever. As ever. Or even getting your minds off of what's going on and what's going on and happening in today's global crisis. So, like I said... I hope you guys are staying very safe and staying very clean as ever. Stay safe and, yes, yeah, stay very safe and stay clean. Remember, to wash your hands thoroughly and definitely. And definitely put some hand sanitizer to keep yourself clean as ever so you don't touch nothing of what's still going on right now. So, just saying there, just saying, just telling you that. Stay, just, I'm uh, just saying, just saying, yeah. So, I'm saying like this. Just telling you this, stay safe. Stay very safe, stay very clean, and remember to keep putting hand sanitizer on as ever. So there you have it for today. I look forward to making another one, and don't worry, I will be making more videos of me reading my poems once everything is back to normal. So, the, so that's about it. This 
this is pretty much this is pretty much for this is pretty much it right now for today's video this morning and I want to say stay safe you guys stay very clean put hand sanitizer on and enjoy the rest of your beautiful day thank you